Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, who do you serve? And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long will ye out between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him, Not a word. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. 1 Kings 18, 21 and 39. Observing the Old Testament and looking at the various ways people worship idols and worship various pagan gods, many of us today in Christendom will feel quite satisfied to know that we are serving the true and living God, but yet there's still a lingering question. What if by some chance we are somehow still worshiping idols even without us knowing? There are various gods, various idols that exist in our lives today. Pagan gods of old have been somewhat modernized. Jesus established in Matthew 6, 24, that no man can serve two masters. His idol is going to love one and hate the other. He went on to say that we cannot serve God and mammon. While in the context of this verse, mammon really means wealth or riches, there's a broader meaning to mammon, which really means anything we put before God has now become an idol. One of the gods that many of us bow to is actually money. In Matthew 19, the rich young ruler illustrates that there are many who choose wealth and riches over serving the true and living God. This is why many today, for the love of money, will sacrifice their children, sacrifice their wives, selling their own souls in order to gain wealth. Many of us will work six days per week, and if we are asked to do overtime, we will be willing to do it, but we can't find even three hours to come into the house of the Lord. Many of us spend hours on social media, going through Facebook, WhatsApp, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, you name it, and we're there. But we're not willing to spend 30 minutes reading the Word of God. There are those of us who our phones is the last thing we see when we go to sleep, and the first thing we see when we wake up, not understanding that we're actually at an altar, giving worship to a new God. And when we give all our time and all our focus to these gods, then we leave ourselves open to all sorts of spirits. This is why many of us find ourselves indulging in gossiping, being rebellious. This is why many of our children get confused with their sexuality, because we have spent hours feeding our spirits with things that God never intended for us to be open to. Many of us, our gods are celebrities, whether those from Hollywood or even those on social media. We highlight them, we install them. And dare anybody say anything bad about them in our presence, we'd be willing to roll up our sleeves and fight just to defend our celebrities. Many of us are gods are our children, husbands, wives, your status, or even your ego. If you're healthy in your body and well in your mind, and you can make it to church and you choose not to, then you also got to question, which God are you serving? Elijah had a tedious task. The children of Israel had forsaken the Lord. They have turned to Baal and the goddess Astrid. Elijah brought to the children of Israel that if God be God, they should serve him. Or if Baal be God, they should serve him. Elijah called upon the true and living God and he answered by fire. It was then and only then the children of Israel sought to acknowledge that God was God. I want to submit to you, not because God didn't prove himself today, doesn't mean that you have to switch and put something else in his place. Not because God didn't answer the prayer that you prayed doesn't mean that you need to turn to another God. God has called us to be faithful to Him. So today, God is calling for true worshippers, those who are not putting their phones before Him, those who are not putting celebrities before Him, those who are not putting their jobs before Him. Today, we all have a choice to make. And let me not ask a question, but rather make a statement. The Lord, He is God, therefore serve Him. The quote of the day, Anything we give preference in our lives above God, that has become our God. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.